the warning. The magazine front cover will say, in time, warning, final seven years of Armageddon just began. To what, what to do, stay inside. See, it's a little thing here. Goals of the magazine. To explain the prophecy of the final seven years in easy to understand terms, Dedicate a section of the magazine to those in Judea. If they listen to our warning, they will escape the coming slaughter. Not one person who heeds the warning will become a victim of the terrible slaughter prophesied by Jesus. Sadly, those who don't listen will be killed in the coming Holocaust. Advertise our daily television program available worldwide on the internet. Introduce our website where they can hear more teaching about the final seven years and what lies ahead. Offer free subscription to our prophecy e uh, to our prophecy e newsletter. Tell them about our Ju Jerusalem Prophecy College in downtown Jerusalem and how they can enroll. Advertise our fourteen lesson prophecy series, understanding the end time. Our goal, our ultimate goal, will be to teach the Jewish people the prophecies of the Bible so they can know what to do. First Chronicles twelve thirty two says. And the children of Ishkar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. When the Jewish Holocaust in Judea takes place, the Jews who heeded our warning and escaped will know that it was the prophecy of Jesus that saved their lives. Many of them will then be ready to hear about eternal life through Jesus through Jesus. Zechariah 12, 7 prophecies a great revival for the Jewish of Judea during this time. Editor's note. At the time of this article, we'll tell you how you can... At the end of this article, we will tell you how you can help warn the Jews at this time of their great greatest need. What does the Bible say? We have already explained... The teaching of the four blood moons that has captivated the imaginations of so many people. Now let's take a look at the teaching of the four blood moons in light of scripture. What does the Bible say about the moon turning to blood and when it is prophesied to happen? When will the moon turn to blood? Earlier in this article, we referred to the prophecy of Joel about the moon being turned into blood. Let's look at it again. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. Joel 2, 30-31. Joel prophesied that the moon would be turned into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. When is the day of the Lord? The prophet Zechariah referred to the day of the Lord in Zechariah 14, 1 through 4. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoils shall be divided into the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of the battle. And his feet shall stand on that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it toward the south. This prophecy describes the coming battle of Armageddon. God said, I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Armageddon will take place seven years before the signing of the Palestinian-Israeli peace agreement. The world government armies will invade Israel in an attempt to force Israel to give up sovereignty over its capital of Jerusalem. When Israel is on the brink of defeat at the hands of the international forces, 
Jesus will return to earth and fight for Israel. The prophecy says it this way, Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. Verse 4 states concerning Jesus, And his feet shall stand on that day upon the Mount of Olives. This describes the personal return of Jesus Christ to the earth. So when did Zechariah say that the day of the Lord would be? The day of the Lord takes place at the time of Armageddon and the second coming of Jesus to earth. The battle of Armageddon takes place at the end of the Great Tribulation. The moon becomes as blood at the sixth seal. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Revelation 6.12 this passage specifically states that the moon will become as blood at the time of the sixth seal. When, this, when is the sixth seal? We can tell when the sixth seal is opened by the ev events that happen at the time of its opening. Revelation 6, 14 through 17 describes these events. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and, the, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens of the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and the rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of, the, of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Notice that the heavens will depart like a scroll at the opening of the seal. This obviously is described is describing the second coming of Jesus because the men of the earth will cry, Hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Since it is prophesied that the moon will turn to blood at the time of the sixth seal, then we can conclude that it will happen at the time of the second coming in the battle of Armageddon. Jesus was much more specific in Matthew 24. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Matthew twenty four twenty nine to 31 Jesus said the moon would be turned into blood immediately after the Great Tribulation. He also stated that the people of the earth would mourn when they saw the Son of Man coming. This is obviously referring to the time of the second coming as described in the sixth seal. Does this totally discredit the teaching of the four blood moons? As we have seen, the scriptures clearly say that the moon will be turned into blood after the Great Tribulation in the time of Armageddon and the second coming of Jesus to earth. This being true, the prophecies about the moon being turned into blood cannot refer to the four blood moons of the last 500 years. However, should the teaching of the four blood moons be totally ignored? Three out of three can't be ignored. There were Four blood moons coinciding with Jewish feast days in 1493 to 1494. The Spanish Inquisition occurred in 1492. There were four blood moons coinciding with Jewish feast days in 1949 to 1950. The rebirth of Israel took place in 1948. There were four blood moons coinciding with Jewish feast days in 1967 to 1968. The reunification of Jerusalem happened in 1967. 
Four blood moons have coincided with Jewish feast days only these three times in the last 500 years. Every single time a major event affecting the Jewish people has occurred, three out of three of the last 500 years cannot be totally ignored. The, last, the next four blood moons. The next tetrad coupled with Jewish feast days will be April 15, 2014 through September 28, 2015. Israelis and Palestinians, led by U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, began peace negotiations on July 30, 2013. Negotiations have been ongoing since that time. When the negotiations were launched, Kerry promised Palestinian leader Mohammed Abbas and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the negotiations would reach an agreement in the nine month in nine months. Together they committed to achieve a peace agreement by April 29, 2014. Will an agreement be signed by April 29, 2014? Whether we place any credibility to the teaching of the four blood moons or not, there is going to be an Israeli Palestinian peace agreement. If this agreement creates a Palestinian state in the West Bank, Judea, leaving a Jewish minority there, and if it places the Temple Mount under a sharing agreement with international supervision, then the final seven years to Armageddon will begin at that time. I think my husband's here. The only question is, will it be signed by April 29, 2014? John Kerry says yes. Whether he is right or wrong about the timing, a peace agreement is definitely coming. It's prophesied in the Bible, and the prophecies always come to pass. This won't be a final agreement. The prophecy of Daniel 9.27 says the peace agreement will be a seven-year agreement. This lets us know that it will not be a final agreement. Some issues will apparently be left unresolved until later. Under the interim agreement, a Palestinian state will be created. Those Jews who refuse to leave their homes in Judea will be allowed to stay as a Jewish minority living in the Palestinian state. A temple, the Temple Mount will be placed under a sharing agreement so that all can worship there. But the conflicts over the city of Jerusalem will remain unresolved. Jerusalem will remain under Israel's control until the Battle of Armageddon. We know this from the prophecy of Zechariah 14.2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifle, and the women banished, and half the city shall go forth into captivity and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. The warning. The month the prophecy peace agreement is signed, we plan to send an end time magazine to every home in Israel. There are 2.27 million of them. The cover of the magazine the cover of the magazine will deliver its message in no certain terms. Warning, final seven years to Armageddon just began. What to do, see inside. One article in the magazine will be a special warning to the Jews living in Judea. All who heed our warning will escape unharmed. Those who don't, those who don't will be slaughtered at the time of abom abomination of desolation. It is God's will for them to escape. That's the reason Je Jesus gave them a warning in his most famous prophecy. The Coming Jewish Revival When those who believe the warning and escape with their lives see their brethren who didn't heed the warning being killed, they will realize it was the prophecy of Jesus that saved their lives. They will then be prepared to hear about eternal life through Jesus Christ. This will give birth to a revival among the Jews of Judea. A great revival started in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. Jesus is, God is going to do it again. The prophecy of the coming Judean revival is given in Zechariah 12, 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Ju Judah first. 
that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. All Israel shall be saved. Romans eleven twenty five to 26 tells us that all Israel shall be saved. For I will not, brethren, that ye shall be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise of your own conceits, that blindness is part, in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. However, God specifically said that he would save the tents of Judah first. The first wave of Jewish revival will come at the time of abomination and desolation. The second wave will come at the time of Armageddon when Jesus returns to earth at the Mount of Olives. The Jews know that their Messiah will plant his feet on the Mount of Olives when he comes to earth. Zechariah 14.4 clearly teaches this. In the heat of the battle of Armageddon, their Messiah will descend from heaven, touching down on the Mount of Olives. The Jews will know their Messiah has come to save them from the invading armies of the Antichrist. They will rush out to meet him, falling down to worship him. When they do, they will notice he has scars on his feet and his hands. Zechariah thirteen sixteen says, And one shall say unto him, What are those wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Suddenly their eyes will be opened, and they will say, So you're Jesus. He will reply, Yes, I am Jesus. Zechariah 12.10 says that they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son. They will blow in bitter repentance against Jesus to forgive him. And of course he will forgive them. It is at this time that Romans 11.26 will be fulfilled. And so all, all Israel shall be saved. Think of it between the first wave of revival among those of Judea and the rest of Israel turning to Jesus at Armageddon, all Israel would be saved during the final seven years. What has God called us to do? God has called end time ministries to warn the Jewish people and to help them know what to do. They gave us our Bible and they gave us our Messiah. Now we have a chance to help them in their time of greatest need. We can inform them of what is coming and teach them what should, what they should do about it. A magazine in every home in Israel. We want to put an end time magazine in every mailbox in Israel within 30 days of the signing of the Prophecy Middle East Peace Agreement. Another Jewish Holocaust is coming, but Jews can escape the coming Holocaust if we will warn them. The Israel Project. God told Abraham in Genesis 12, 3, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. This is our chance to bless the Jewish people at this time of their greatest need. Are we sure the seven final years will begin April 29, 2014? No. We can't be sure of the final seven years will begin on April 29, 2014. That is the date John Kerry has set. It could take longer to get the deal done or it could happen sooner but we are absolutely certain a peace agreement is going to be signed it is prophesied in the bible and the prophecy always come to pass and can't we sorry we can't wait to act if they do get the treaty signed by april 29 2014 we must be ready if we miss this opportunity we won't get a second chance so the need is urgent. All we need to accomplish this prophetic goal is for 1,800 people to contribute $500 or more to the Israel Project. Project. All who donate $500 or more to the Israel Project will receive a gift of appreciation of our DVD, Israel's Future, according to Bible Prophecy. To help save the, Jewish, the Jews from the coming Holocaust, simply call 
one 800 time or donate online at endtime.com. The, Jew, the Jews gave us our Bible. They gave us our Messiah. Now we have an opportunity to help them as they move toward the Bible, the battle of Armageddon. Let's do it.